After over a year of delays, the Black Widow movie has finally dropped. And was it worth the wait? Not really. It's not, it's not very good. It's not terrible, but it's really not good either. Uh, it was the first movie I had seen in theaters since Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, so not a great return to form or a great way to end. But uh, not a terrible experience either. I had fun. It was an okay movie. I figured I would just do this quick little video today, mostly because I just haven't released a video in a while. I'm working on it. Leave me alone. And also, it's just been a really long time since I've done a video like this. The last one I did was, I think, Artemis Fowl. Uh, also, a terrible way to end off. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, we're here to talk about Black Widow. If you haven't seen this movie, minor spoilers ahead. I'll get into, I'll, I'm gonna say some major spoilers later. Not that this movie really has anything, but I'll warn you when that comes up. So if you don't want to know anything about this movie, stop watching. Leave a like, but stop watching. Uh, and then just come back when you're done the video uh, on a different account so you can leave another like. If you only want to know a little bit of my general thoughts, I'll let you know when the major spoilers are coming. The really the best and worst thing I can say about Black Widow is it is okay. It's nothing egregious, but it's nothing to particularly write home about either. It is just a, a serviceable movie. This movie really feels like it should have come out like three years ago before Endgame. You could have just kicked Captain Marvel out of that February release date, uh, written her out of Endgame, because she doesn't do anything anyways, and then just put Black Widow in there. And that really would have given us some more emotional connection to her before she, uh, you know, dies. This movie also really should have been set in between uh, Infinity War and Endgame instead of Civil War and Infinity War. Uh, this movie basically just serves as a, uh, as just set up for Infinity War. You know, that movie which came out years ago. I think setting it in between Infinity War and Endgame would have been really cool and we can see more of the period between there. And it's not like anything would have changed if uh, the only thing that takes place post Endgame is the post credit scene, which is technically a spoiler, but what else did you expect? This movie does have some good stuff about it. I think some of the fight scenes are pretty cool. Uh, not all of them. Some of them are very lame, but some of them are, they're all right. I, I had fun watching them. Uh, some of the cinematography is cool here and there. Uh, it's got pretty colors. There's a lot of red. Uh, I like that. Some of the characters in this movie were pretty good. I liked Alexia and Yelena quite a bit. Uh, Black Widow herself, Natasha was pretty okay. Uh, she was kind of just a watered down version of some of her end game version, uh, but she was still pretty cool. That's really all of the stuff I actually liked about this movie. The stuff I didn't like is a longer list, but there's also a lot of stuff that is pretty neutral on, uh, but I'm not really gonna mention that in that video because I don't remember it. The worst part about this movie is that it kind of just feels a little bit hollow. There's nowhere this story can really go. We know where it's, what it's leaving. She's just gonna die in like six years in the story. So what's the point? This movie reminds me a lot of Solo. They just made a movie off of a character people like without really worrying too much about it. I think Solo is a better movie than Black Widow, uh, but at the end of the day, it is a fairly pointless movie. You can't do anything with the character. We know what's gonna happen. And this, ha this is the same case here. Hello, it's me from the future here. I forgot to mention that uh, this movie also does the, the, old, the old Solo trick uh, where it is explaining where Black Widow got things that uh, nobody cared about where she got because uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, I forgot to say that. Uh, Alright, anyway, thanks, bye. The villain of this movie was also really lame. I literally cannot remember his name at all. Um, he was just a very generic villain. Uh, just an old Russian dude. This movie also kind of wastes Taskmaster. Uh, he's very lame, and I'll get more into that in a minute when I go into spoilers, but if you want to go into this movie expecting Taskmaster uh, to be really cool, uh, he's not. This movie also has just some dumb stuff. Just some, some dumb lines, some dumb little plot devices. Uh, none of them are like particularly like egregious. They're not, 
like the worst things I've ever seen, but they're not very good either. Some of the editing in this movie also kind of sucked. It, again, it wasn't like the worst thing I've ever seen, but some of it wasn't very good, and same goes with the cinematography. Uh, that's really the worst I can think of without going into spoilers, and really, none of it's that bad. None of this is like the worst thing you'll ever see. It's just not, you know, amazing. It's just okay. The MCU still holds its track record of never having a bad movie, just some which are just not that good. Uh, I'm gonna get into a little bit of spoilers now. So overall, not an amazing movie. It's not worth going to theaters for, I think. Uh, I mean, if you really wanna go see the theaters, you're gonna have a good time. This is not a bad movie. Uh, it's just okay. It's definitely not worth the premier access price on Disney Plus though. Don't ever buy Premier Access on Disney Plus. That's a giant scam. Taskmaster was lame as shit, making her the daughter of that dude, but then not using her for to do anything. It's such wasted potential. Taskmaster is pretty neat in the comics, um, but he just does nothing in this movie. And maybe we'll see her again. And maybe someone else will take up the master. Maybe the actual Taskmaster will take up the mantle. But she, right now, she didn't do anything. And I am very disappointed. Also, the design is terrible. It looks like a bad Power Rangers character. Uh, it, what you should have done for the design is take the PS4 Spider-Man design, and that's it, you got it. And don't get me wrong, the Red Guardian also looks like a shitty Power Rangers villain. But that's the joke. A lot of characters in the MCU are like that. They're not supposed to look cool is the, the joke. Taskmaster should look neat. And I just, I just don't, I don't vibe with the design. I just, I, I don't like it. The post credit scene was kind of cool. Um, I still think this movie should have come out before Endgame and you could have just taken this post credit scene and put it at the end of like Falcon and the Winter Soldier or something, or even Endgame if you had to. But this brief, like minute long scene is the only reason this movie came out after Endgame. That's it. Uh, it really should have come out before then. Uh, and the postcard scene was fine. It was cool. She's going to be in the Hawkeye show. Uh, that show I'm literally not excited for at all. Um, but like, that's whatever. Um, you really could have just written your way around that. So yeah, I think that's actually it. This was a short one today. There's not a whole lot to say about this movie. It's not horrible, it's just not that good. It's, I'm very disappointed. And I've liked a lot of what the MCU has been doing recently. WandaVision was pretty cool up until the very end where it kind of fell apart. Uh, and, and then Falcon and the Winter Soldier was all right. I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but it was okay. And uh, Loki has been really good so far. I was kind of hoping to keep that sort of momentum going with, with Black Widow. Um, we didn't get that, but that's okay. I'm not particularly disappointed with this movie. Black Widow has never been one of my favorite characters, but it is what it is. <laughs> it's, of course I would have liked this movie to be better because we will probably never see Natasha Romanoff again. Uh, and I'm, I'm disappointed at her solo movie. Um, but I think I've rambled for long enough. Thank you for watching. Uh, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Uh,